Greetings, my friend, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. So, uh, we are continuing to expand some of our rooms, and we talked about next time, or this time, this episode, we are going to focus on a bit of these rooms. By the way, it's raining where I am, so I do hope that my microphone is not picking up too much of the rain sound. In fact, if it starts storming harder, I might have to go close my window. It's a little warm over here. Unseasonable, even. Let's get this um, gap in the wall cleaned up. Or in the floor, so somebody can actually use this cot. Yay, Rowan's high. He's like, I slept. Yay, I'm not feeling bad. Hey, let's just randomly spot check someone. Let's follow Rowan around for a bit. What do you do during the day? This is his to-do list. Holy crap. I wonder if they get this assigned... No, this is probably spontaneous. This happens randomly during the day. So you are what? You are unemployed. You have high skills in farming, of course. So you have a bunch of jobs doing what? Well, I guess whenever something farming-wise comes up, you take care of that. Farming supply. Okay, so his current order is on top here. So it did say farming. Got it. So you're doing all your jobs. Farming's basically taken care of. How's everyone's morale situation? Let's go back to him. Sorry. Um, Rowan, what's your, what's your morale at? Are you a happy camper? You're three out of three. You're three out of... I don't know why slash one means, but you're three. You're at... Uh, latrine plus one, barracks plus one, two shift break. Okay, so as soon as we start getting some of these other rooms completed, you're just going to be happier than a pig in, you know, muck. So we need, for the next room we were talking about, maybe doing a massage clinic and a med bay. I feel like a massage clinic would get more use than a med bay. So it needs to be at least 12 wide and have a decor item and a massage table. So we do the same type of design as our bedrooms. 4, 8, 12, right there. That's a bedroom, or that's a room, sorry. Boom, and boom. Uh, we put down a fancy pants massage table. Dead center. And once we unlock the, where are we at? We're halfway to, an, uh, we're a couple notches into internal combustion. We can go down to internal interior de uh, decor, by the way, and grab a flower plot plot <laughs> yes we'll grab a flower pot and add that in as well i love how they have certain job requirements so the more complicated you get by the way the more advanced buildings you get they can only be operated by people on certain jobs so we need a research assistant scientist or tenured scientist to use the supercomputer M remember if we looked at the job posting for research assistant ruby is still under the morale requirement i think though I'm going to go as ahead and assign Ruby the job of uh, professor here, of research. Can I not make this a... Uh, why can't I make this a job like you, everyone else has? Why won't you let me do it? Fine, I accept this. This is my punishment. There it goes, okay. Oh, I think she actually had to put on the hat. It's so cute, by the way. I, I'll have to check next time I assign someone a job. They wear their hat. Uh, the hat for their sp particular role, and it's really, really adorable. I'll try to catch that next time we assign someone a job. All right, so Ruby's going to go to work on the fancy supercomputer and normal research state. I don't know if she does both or what. Is she using both of them? I think she's using both at the same time. Um, so we're going to have our massage table whenever we can get a decor item. Next up, we wanted to talk about the med bay. You need a medical bed, a toilet, and a mess table, which is all gross. So let's go ahead and do... The med bed, the toilet, it's, it's gross, it makes me, it's, I'm concerned about putting the table next to the toilet, um, do we want, you know what we could probably do, let's do this, let's cancel that, let's put down a, to keep things clean, let's go ahead and put down a sink. Since we're going to have plumbing in here anyways, let's put down a sink right next to the lavatory. We can still fit down our medical bed. And we can fit down a mess table, which we haven't built any of yet. Cool. So that should fit all the requirements. Now we have to start doing our plumbing now, though. So let's put down some tiles. Let's uh, fill this room with tiles because I love the tile look. And we do need to start focusing on finishing out or mining out our section, our, our dumping section. Remember, this is going to be where we dump all of our nasty gases. Honestly, though, 
I love having this pit here. Although I don't... Well, it's exposed to slime, so I don't think we want to breach into it just yet. Yeah, I don't think we want to do that. I just don't know how slime lung works. I don't know if you have to be in close, close proximity, or if you just have to be in the polluted oxygen here. No surface gems. Gems. Uh, germs. Right, but there's, there's slime all over the place, and it's, it is breathable, it is, a uh, contractible by just breathing. So it's a dangerous game to play. Alright, let's speed things up just a bit. I do want to get this digging done. Where's our miner at, by the way? Who is our miner? Uh, that would be Hassan. Hassan, what are you up to these days? Can I click on you from here? I cannot. What does Hassan look like? You handsome bastard. Alright, what you up to? Let's follow you around for a bit. You are low on oxygen, we get it. Uh, we are... Increasing our oxygen supply, thankfully. I love that they, they take their little hats off, by the way, when they have a when they eat or when they go in the shower or when they go to bed. They take their little hat off and just kind of chill for a bit. I do want to get them a mess room pretty quick so they can all so socialize a bit and uh, get some of that enjoyment. Let's designate this to be uh, chopped eventually. So what are you up to? Your current job list is to relax. You're, oh, relaxing. Okay, oh, there it is. Sorry. We're in his downtime. So, Hassan, I guess this is our time of day. So, you're in your downtime cycle. So, you're going to do your duty and move on from there. Okay, cool. Well, I'm not going to watch you go to bed. That's not really uh, our thing right now. If we look at jobs, though, now, Ruby's a little bit low on morale. You're going to get a little bit stressed out. Are you super stressed out? Ruby's a little bit stressed. Only 2%. Not the worst thing in the world to assign someone to a job that's above their morale level. Let's go ahead and add in... Um, who is our operator? I don't remember now. Well, if we assign everyone else, the only people left over should be the ones who need to go into the right job. So, the farmer was going to be the latest hire, right? Rowan? Yeah, he's got a farm skill of 8. That's definitely our man. And then we also had a sous chef come in, right? Wasn't that May? May's our cook. So Max is our operator, right? He's the one who is going to be doing the operating. He is at morale of three. Uh, Rowan is at the morale of three as well. So job morale needs one. Is it needs one or does it need four? Minimum morale. Minimum morale. Oh, not all of these. Okay, so each job has its own different requirement. This one needs two. Um, this one doesn't have any. This needs two. So the research assistant needs a higher level of morale than everyone else. Okay, that's still good to know. A cook only needs one. I thought it meant that... What does this do? Does this give you bonuses? Mor this is tier two. Does this say that once you get your job done, you get two? Or you just need two? Interesting. Maybe it's telling us they need one more. Job morale needs one. Maybe that maybe that's should be phrased needs uh, more, like one more morale point or what have you. We'll take a look. It shouldn't break the bank no matter what happens. All right, we'll connect that into the power system. This is the massage, the self-operating, really. <laughs> it's just two giant wooden paddles on a stick. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> that's awesome. That reminds me uh, of Simone Gertz. I wonder if Simone Gertz made this table. If you are a Simone Gertz fan, as you should be, you would be familiar with that reference. If you are not, you should head over to the Googles and look up her amazing, awesome robots. Are we at maximum speed? We are now. Okay, so we're researching... Uh, that's not finished yet. It should be done soon, and as soon as that's done, we are going to... Oh, it's still got a, a ways to go. As soon as that's done, we'll go over to getting decor down, and we'll start adding some decor items. Oh, hey, have we get uh, received any more mealwood? We have. Nice. Mealwood for everyone. Delicious mealwood. It's literally... Lice. <laughs> oh, that makes me uncomfortable. Oh, I missed their job change, too. I'm a bad person. I told you I'd look, and I didn't. Alright, so how's our digging down here going? Where is Hassan? Are you are you waking up yet, Hassan? I, I need you to be digging, my friend. Oh, I guess you are digging, in a way. 
Oh, this is cool. So, this is his to-do list. So, he's supplying some stuff, because he's building something, but his very high, it's, it's actually sorted by the priority level. So, he has a bunch of digging as his priority level in general. So, he's going to dig up there before digging down here, though. Which is... Oh, I'm so dumb. He can't get down here because the ladder didn't extend. What am I thinking of? Okay, cool. Sorry about that, buddy. Let's make this a priority, and then Hassan will dig this out. In fact, we'll tell him to dig one more level once this is all done. And um, we can dig outward just a smidge. How far did I go? Eight to the side. Eight to the side. Cool. And you know what? Let's... Um... Oh, we'll do something like this. We'll use up some of this open space and we'll grab ourselves a bristle blossom, bluff briar, and buried muckroot, along with everything else. Cool. So Hassan is on the job. Oh, that's, that's Max. Where's Hassan at? Hassan, you lazy bum. Okay. He's actually up here doing what we want him to do. This is going to be our, uh, our fancy room for eating. This is going to be our mess hall with our fancy shine bug. Does that count as a... Um, does it give off anything? Oh, cool! It actually gives a decor rating! Well, then we're gonna lock his ass in here because I want him to stay in this room. How cool is that? So we basically have our own pet in here. Yes, okay. Let's make this a super high priority. Priority level. I want to trap him in here. Don't you leave. Don't you do it. You stay. You stay. Light dude. Someone just mastered their job. Uh, this was... Turner has mastered the apprentice architect job. So if we go back to the jobs tree now, you can see that Turner has completed the uh, architect job. So now he's got plus two to his construction. Remember, his construction was at five. But because he finished his job, he got plus two. We could assign him to this next role. However, he needs a lot more morale. And I think the higher the gap between what the assigned morale requirement is and what the current morale is, you the more stress they get. So we don't really want to bounce him up too far. All right, so we did finish more research, so let's go ahead and go back into the research tree and add interior decor to the list. We did just unlock the internal combustion engine though. So let's go under the power section, let's do the coal generator, which is friggin' massive. We'll put down a jumbo... Ba Can we stack the jumbo batteries? Can I really do that? No. They probably won't let me do that. Why won't you let me cancel this job? Okay. Yeah, it actually had the warning message there. So, for the moment, let's go ahead and attach the jumbo battery to the coal generator. We'll loop this into the power network as well. Like this, and like so, and like yon, and there. Perfect. So, we are starting to get massive amounts of power stored. I'll probably destroy all of this stuff eventually, any hoots, to get that out of the way. This is starting to look like the place that I want it to become. This, this is what I'm envisioning. We've got our living quarters, we've got our jobs off to either side. Looking good, we're gonna clean this area up. The, we're gonna probably put a bathroom up here, actually. And in fact, we could plan for it, but there's so many outstanding jobs right now that I don't want to overwhelm our little duplicates more than they already are overwhelmed. We almost have another um, printing pot. How are we doing on food? I guess we're okay on food. It's not great. I do want to put down our food production relatively soon, but to do that, I need to start mucking about with the water over here, which is even more, more digging. So it'll take some time to get everything where we want it to be. You must dig, Hassan. Dig, my friend. Or remember, this is our dumping of, of both polluted water or polluted liquids, and it's also going to be an area where we dump, uh, where, where the, the gases fall on their own. See, you can actually see it here. So there's carbon dioxide being generated. And if we speed things up a bit, you can see the particulates kind of falling down over time, just because the oxygen is, is um, replacing all of that negative air. So if we were to dig a tunnel here and just dig straight down, all of this bad air, or the heavier than oxygen air, I should say, will, will come down. It's not a guarantee just because it's unbreathable that it will fall down. It has to be actually lighter than, or, or heavier than oxygen. Can we see how much, like, I don't know how to measure that. How do you measure the, the 
Is it mass? I don't really think it's mass. I don't think it's an, an, uh, an issue of out-pressuring stuff, though. It could be. I don't know. Maybe we create more pressure up top, and it forces it all down, but... Either way, uh, before my head implodes, we'll go ahead and move on from there. Hey! Uh, everything's out of order, so we really need these to get fixed at some point, because no one can pee. Can I get someone to fix this? In fact, I think I'm gonna declare the lack of a potty an emergency, so let's get someone to, uh, to unclog this bad boy really, really quick. <laughs> I know it's gross, Ruby. I'm so sorry to take you away from researching just to plunge a toilet. So you can see here that our, our uses have been hit, right? So we're at our maximum number of uses on the scale, and it has to get cleaned up just a bit. You look so happy. By the way, if you haven't zoomed in, I really haven't done it much on this playthrough, but if you've got time, I would, I would really recommend just taking some time and going through the game slowly. And just watching some of the animations are really, really adorable. Like, everyone freaks out. Whenever there's an emergency, whenever there's a red alert, it's really kind of cute. So they all freak out, they all run around going crazy for the job. Hey, our coal generator's done, except no one has brought any coal. Let's go ahead and make this a high priority as well to deliver items to that. We really need someone who has the supply interest. Honestly, though, next person I get, I'm just probably going to assign them to supply, no matter what. Because we need to start having people dedicated to supplying other buildings with resources. I think Ruby just kicked May off of the research job. Did you see the little icon come up that said, like, research dedicated? That was kind of cool. Alright, so May is delivering a bunch of coal, so we are generating lots and lots of power. Made a mess. Ah, who peed all over the place? Yep. Ruby sadly uh, plunged the bathroom up, but then did not take care of everything. So now you can see pee falling down on May's head. But it's falling down into our waste area, which is exactly what we wanted. Oh, don't do- Oh, that's gross. <gasps> Does it bounce off their helmet? I don't think so. That's still super, super gross. Uh, let's go ahead and do- Let's cancel this crazy emergency and just- let, Whatever this job is, we'll put it at a high priority. Oh, oh geez. Everyone's making a mess. Let's go ahead and clean up the spills here. <sighs> Lots of accidents. But now you can see this, um, the gathered polluted water. So what we're going to eventually do is have a piping system release all of the wastewater down here. So that's going to be something we want to take care of relatively quickly. I'll tell you what, let's extend this ladder up so they can close off this roof. I want to make sure our little bug friend does not escape. Does not escarper. And we also want to make this a priority. I mean, if everything's a high priority, nothing's a high priority. I get it. But we do need to put some things and make them dedicated. Hey, has anyone used our massage table? Break starts at 50. Break, break time policy. I don't know what this means. Break starts at 50. Break ends at... Oh, maybe this... Maybe you use this when you go crazy. Interesting. I have no idea. Hassan is almost done with his deconstruction work. I'm gonna do something like this. It's gonna be look really funky, but uh, the cool thing is that replicants, duplicates can hop over open tiles. So I'm gonna have him start um, mining some of this area. Remember, this is gonna be a pretty big area. We wanna make sure it, it gets most of the waste we have in terms of bad air. So lots of space for that to come down on. Um, the coal generator does produce carbon dioxide. However, it should be going out of this room and then down. Do we have any examples of how it... Yeah, if we speed it up, you can see the carbon dioxide kind of float out of the room, through the wall here, through the door, and then down the ladder. This room will start to get a lot darker looking, much like uh, over here, over time. Alright, we need research. Alright, what are we doing next for research? We got our decor. So, we've got our fancy... Do we want to do... We could do refrigeration, which is important. I don't want to mess with... I haven't done any ranching, so ranching is going to be completely new to me. I'll be honest with you, a lot of these systems are new to me as well. I've not really gone deep into the, the tech tree. I mostly stabilized my place, and then I was like, Yay! We're done. <laughs> so, this will be an experience for sure. Why don't we try to do... The refrigeration. I think that's going to be important to make sure we have a place f to start storing our food. Uh, we'll we'll do the Maslow's thing. We'll go for um, we'll go for safety and food more than anything else right now. Ruby's gathering our delicious meal with lice. Oh, that's so gross. I could have go back if we if we could lower this 
reservoir down, we could put another row of farm tiles down here since mealwood does grow well in carbon dioxide along with oxygen. That should hardcore take care of any problems we have with food. We really need to get this stuff gathered up though too. Alright, one emergency at a time. Hassan's finishing up the corner. We'll have him start doing this stuff. No, Hassan, come back, my friend. Can you... did that redo the job? Oh, me, I'll take care of it. Extra work trying to micromanage the, the mining aspect of it, but that's fine. All right. Well, that's where I want it. I think, though, I'm going to deconstruct the bottom of the floor, and then I'm going to dig down, I don't know, two or three more notches here so I can incorporate this pile of water. Um... What is this going to wind up? Probably being three levels deep. I'm probably going to go three more levels down, which actually would be four if we exclude the floor, or include the floor in the count. Then I will add more tile here. And just, just make our reservoir a bit deeper, is what I want to do, because I want to breach this wall and use this space. Hey, our, um, by the way, is it working? Yes, awesome! So we don't even have to have it piped in yet to get this med bay bonus. So we are getting the med bay bonus now, which is awesome. Uh, we could also put down our flower pot. In fact, I like to include a flower pot in every single bedroom. Because a happily duplicate is a productive duplicate. Absolutely. Alright, Hassan is, uh, or all the folks down here are going to get pretty busy. Actually, let's extend the ladder so people can make sure they as they're digging down, they have a way to get back up. In fact, I will make that a high priority to make sure nobody drowns. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Indeed. Okay, so that's all taken care of. I will eventually pipe in the sink and the lavatory once I figure out how the piping's going to go. Although at this point, I think we're about ready for it, to be honest. Yeah, we are definitely good to go. I think I would like to... Hmm. I like to run piping through a wall so it doesn't look absolutely horrendous. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, though, is make... I know it's a lot of tile and extra work, but I just... It, just for aesthetic reasons, I want to have the piping go through a wall here. So we're going to designate a bunch of this stuff to be dug out, and then they're going to build tiles here, and then we're going to build piping. And we will get to plumbing in this episode, I promise you that. So we'll speed things up a bit. We have another uh, duplicate or, or whatever we want to have delivered ready to go here in just a second. It is full up. Next, print in 10 seconds. We want to get a... Let's check the job list before we do this. We've got... Oh, Ruby's at one. Morale, are you super grumpy right now? Ruby is pretty stressed out. Hang on, let's take a look at Ruby make sure she's about, not about to snap. Why are you so grumpy, Ruby? I mean, granted, you're, like, literally around a bunch of piss, so <laughs> not the best situation to be around. Um, grizzly, grizzly meal, ugly, okay, yeah, you, you've you got a couple things that are a bit grumpy. Fair enough, we'll help you out here in just a bit. Hopefully when we add a little bit of a flower pot, that should help things out in a couple more rooms. All right, we have three people plus a joya seed. All right, what does a joya seed do? We have not seen that yet. I love this little database, lots of information. Uh, jumping joya. Makes gardeners jump for joy. It provides what? I, honest to God, couldn't tell you from all this information. Decorative plants. Okay. We should have some decorative plants already. I believe we have bluff briars already. So we're going to use bluff briars as our decorative plant. <gasps> Somebody with supply skill? Somebody with huge amounts of run speed? Oh, hell yes, except that you're a loud sleeper, which is kind of a bummer. But at this point, I want somebody with supply. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Trivaldo, you are... Oh, I love that name. Trivaldo, you are part of the, the team. You're a vomiter, that's okay. Uh, twinkle Toes means you're fast. S loud sleeper is going to be a bit of a pain. We're going to have to mess with that a bit. We might just have to give him a bit of a thicker door, but we'll deal with it. All right, so, Trivaldo, with a D, not Trivolto. Uh, Trivaldo, we're going to immediately assign you of the supply job. Perfect. Oh, he's got so much... Yeah, this is going to be so good. Trivaldo, look at that. 
Travaldo's like a speed demon. That was at one speed too. Look, 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 look. His eyes are like glowing. They're so cute. All right, buddy, you are on hardcore supply duty. Let's go ahead and go into the priorities list and go down to Travaldo and give him the um, hardcore on the supply job as well as the tidy job. You're going to be basically just gathering everything in the world up. Uh, Max, the engineer, aren't you... What are you, the engineer? Is that the tinkering role, I think? Operate. There we go. I do like to give everyone their main job as this little wrench icon. I don't know if it really has a huge effect or not. But we'll pretend it does. Okay. So what's next? Um, well... We could put our food production here, and then put the food storage up here. That's a bit more of a run. This is going to be a great spot, I think, though, for a... What do we want to talk about this room, right? We want to talk about a mess hall, a great hall. A great hall is going to give a plus six for decor. So, we need a minimum of 32 tiles. 4, 8, 12, 16. Okay, we can make that no problem. We're going to have plenty of space for the Great Hall. It actually has a maximum. Hang on a minute. Oh, it wow. It literally, if I hover over it, guess what? It tells me what the heck's in the room. 66 tiles. It needs a recreational item. No industrial machinery and a mess table. So, if I put down a bunch of mess tables here, a recreation item is going to be something like the water cooler, I think. Wait, what's a recreation item? Shoot, maybe that's not a recreation item. A tasteful memorial. <laughs> um, I don't think this is recreation. We're gonna put the water cooler down here and we're gonna keep an eye out for recreation type buildings. Yeah, I think it actually is gonna be a separate thing. Let's look at the research tree, by the way. Can I just search for recreation? Not so much. Um, artistic expression. I would think that's where that would be at, but maybe not. This is all art stuff. I don't know where stuff would be at for, I don't know, fun? Drywall. Comfy bed. There's our comfy bed that we were talking about. Fine art is obviously going to be important to us down the road. Or art in general. Maybe, maybe this is, let's go back to this. What the heck is a recreational building? I honestly have no idea. Healthcare. I hope it's not all the way over to the right. Maybe, I mean, that is a pretty big bonus to that room. Maybe we do have to wait a bit. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll experiment with it. We'll find out. Uh, we will start building our fancy mess hall wannabe here soon. We need to get a couple of flower pots down so our builder... Who's our builder, by the way? I can start looking at people and stalking them a bit. Our architect is Turner. So, Turner, what you up to? Where are you and what you up to? I think you're on night shift. You should be building stuff. Let's follow you for a bit and see what you're up to. You are currently getting the, the uh, supplies to construct stuff. Which is what you, we want you to do. You're just happy about life. Express yourself? That was adorable. Well, he's got a lot of stuff to build. That's fair. I do have tons of things waiting for him. Oh, here's so here's the thing about snorers. They will affect that entire radius that you saw here. So whoever's next to them, thankfully this cot is unassigned, will get annoyed. Unless we have, I think, a Huh. There are some airlocks in the game, but I don't know if they're they're strong enough to uh <laughs> to stop the snoring. Okay, so we said we'd work on some plumbing stuff, so let's take a look at how we want to do our fancy bathrooms now people sleep on both sides of the solid wall so i think i want to go ahead and do a layer of bathrooms here it's probably going to be more work but it would split up some of it would make the you know prevent people from having to run assuming they were going to run to the nearest bathroom i have no idea but to me it would make sense that this would work out plus we have tons of space we'll just say this is this is what's uh what, what's smart here so we're going to put down the sink at the edge of the room, right? So they have to wash their hands on the way out. We Do we want to put two sinks down? It really depends on how many people could fit into here at any given time. We could, but we're going to be a little bit pressed for space as we expand a little bit more towards the left. 
Let's put down a laboratory. I think we want to have two of each. Two bathrooms, two showers on each side, so we'd have four for seven duplicates. That seems plenty. I, th I don't think we need... What, do they queue up if someone's in front of them in a sink? I honestly don't know. We could have a room for just showers, though. That's also a possibility. That That's, to me, a lot of space taken up. What I have done before, though, is put the showers alongside our our tall vertical wall. Remember, we talked about this before, having our, our wall extend all the way up like this. I have put the showers off to the side because I don't think the heat really matters. I would be a little bit nervous about the slime problem, except I think we can take care of it with the med bed. That would free up a lot of space. We could put another toilet down even. So what I'm what I'm thinking of, what I'm talking about is putting a door here, probably also a door here, having a very tall vertical ladder all the way up, and then just kind of randomly putting our showers right there. I mean, just there's no rhyme or reason to it. We'll just stack them. Uh, they obviously have to have a base first, but it's just like the vertical shower room. Unoccupied space. I think that means we have to designate this to get dug out. So it's not going to like that. But we can put down... Shower here. Right? And we're going to put down a shower there. And then there would be a shower here. We could be a shower here. And each of these sections would have a support tile on it. Right? So they would have... A tile to uh, you'd be able to support the shower on. So what's dangerous about this? Where is the nasty stuff? So there's slime lung here, so that that there's slime here, and there's slime on this side too. I just don't know what it's gonna do to us, but at some point I think we have to find out how bad slime lung really is. So this might be one of those you know for science moments in our lives. Um, I think we need to do it. I, I mean, we don't have to, but I like that it's going to free up. We got four showers there, so a bunch of duplicates on the same shift can all shower at the same time. Why are you so nasty? Why are you so dirty? Who is this? Hassan, you dirty bat. He has been hanging out down here in the dirt pit for a while. Um, we would be able to put down probably another toilet here, right? So more duplicates can use the toilet at the same time. I think I like this. I don't know. We'll... We'll mess with it. I'll see if, you know, anyone dies a horrible, horrible death. We are going to eventually move this out so we could open this room up. Let's cancel this. Let's designate some ladders here like so. Put down a pneumatic door here once we clear out the wall. All right. I don't know what this room's going to turn into, by the way. This is going to be freed up once we have all the bathroom stuff in place. So... We have a proposed way of doing showers and toilets and sinks. Uh, I'll probably do the same thing on the other side, mirroring this um, once we get over there. By the way, is this all even in terms of space? <gasps> 10 and 12? Oh no, I ruined everything. That's all right. I will survive somehow. Okay, so piping, plumbing. When you're looking at the piping system, it's a little bit confusing at first, but all it means is that green is an output. And white is an intake. So, all of our crap, all of our waste, is all going to be coming out of these green tubes. Alright, so I'm going to link all these tubes together. I am then going to link all of the... Like, this path together. I'm going to go down this way to link all the intakes together. There is, in fact, a method to my madness. And you shall see it here in just a minute. So um, this is our intake pike. Pike? Yes, it's pike, like you stab people with. Come down here. Okay, so right now I have a dedicated, uninterrupted intake pipe. If you see all the white is intake, right? So this is intake here. This is going to service the, the showers that are stacked on top of each other. I'm also going to have that pipe go up like so to supply the toilets. So now... We're going to be pulling our fresh water, uh, probably from something like this. We'll do a tile here. And what I will do is run the piping across the gap here. And we'll put down a pump somewhere on the bottom. In fact, I'll probably put it here because it's as low as we want to go. A pump is going to give you, is going to require you to put down piping. So we will put our piping down 
in the floor. Not really needed. It's probably going to screw some stuff up. Either way, that's the piping. Uh, by the way, we also need power to run to this underground pipe. Apparently all this wire is waterproof, so we're going to overlay some electricity right on the water, because that never hurt anyone. Okay, I'll just go up like this. Alright, so our intake is set, okay? Our intake is good. Now, where am I going to get screwed at is my output. Um... I shall tell you what, let us do this instead. I'm going to cancel this vertical pipe. Like so. I'm going to make this go across and then meet up with the intake. Okay, so I'm going to make the intake pipe go all the way up like this. And what I'm going to do here instead... Cancel that. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of explain again in, in a minute. So, remember that the green is output, right? So if we look at, if you ever get confused, just look at the overlay. This explains it in a really great way. It comes in from the pump, in, so the output to the input, and then you take a crap. And the crap goes from <laughs> the output to the building. In, it, it's a little bit awkward. The final step is dumping all your stuff out. And we'll get to that in a minute, but just think that this is in, this is out, right? So this is fresh water coming in, this is bad water going out. So all of this line is all out. All of this is out right now. What we're going to do is we've got this entire out pipe, this entire bad pipe, going all the way down. Now what happens when your pipe hits a cross section? You cannot mix your pipes, by the way. You cannot have um, the spot that all your bad water is going from, or your polluted water is going from, mix like this. We cannot have a cross section because it'll all get contaminated and screwed up. So the way you can deal with that is to use this liquid bridge. Now, luckily right now it's in the right spot because we're, we're basically taking... Oh, no, it's not. I'm sorry. We have to reverse this because if you look at it the way it is... This is the intake, this is the output. Well, this is where our fresh water is. Our water is going like this, and it has to go across in this direction. So I'm going to cancel that job, go back to the liquid bridge, press O twice to flip it, and now you see that the intake is on the correct side. So the water is going in this direction. It's going from uh, from right to left. So our, we're going to hit the bridge, and then connect with our piping. So that's how you can do an intersection. The uh, the pipe, it does look like it's overlaid, but it's separate dedicated pipes that are crossing each other. I'm gonna do the same thing up here. Liquid bridge, press it twice, bam, boom, we're all set. So that's how our pipes are crossing each other. We've got our nice clean water coming up. So getting pumped in here. Some of it's gonna go to the showers. Some of it's gonna go to the toilets. And I guess I could, um, yeah, it'd be more of a pain to cross it up here. I, I could link all the bad water here, but I'll just make two separate pipes. It's not the end of the world. I have to go like up over... Can I just do one like right here? Would this be easier? Hang on a second. Just just thinking in terms of less, uh, what's easier. Maybe I could, maybe this would be okay. Right, so we're, this is our bad, this is kind of our waste pipe. It's skipping over the intake. Oh, sorry, I'm reversing that. Yeah, I'm, rever I'm getting my, 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 my things all screwy here. Maybe I don't even need to cross here then. Yeah? So what we're doing is our intake's coming up here. Our intake is getting pushed all this, this clean water. Clean water's crossing the bad water, going to the toilets, once again crossing the bad water, and going into the showers, right? So this is all good piping. This is all fresh water here. Our wastewater is getting drawn up over and then it's crossing over, not not interconnecting, not not crossing, uh, not mixing the lines here, just crossing on over, and going down into our final spot, which is going to be this liquid vent, and all the water is just going to dump out here. Cool, makes sense, 100%. Yeah, no problems, right? Uh, it took it took me a minute to figure this stuff out, and maybe there's a better way to do it. That's fine. That's what we're here for. We're here to learn and experiment and really just screw everything up. All right. There's tons of stuff to build right now, um, so we're going to let our builders do some work. In fact, I may go ahead and just fast forward things, or at this point, probably go ahead and just wrap the episode, and I'll let things roll off camera, and we'll come back, hopefully, to a nice completed piping system. Now, this is the start of the piping system. Remember, I have to basically do the same thing over here 
if I want a nice mirrored bathroom. However, I could put down two pneumatic doors back to back and have everyone head this direction for the bathrooms. And I'm going to debate about that, whether or not I want to keep all the bathrooms here. The problem is that we just don't have enough, I don't think, at the moment. I could make... It, what I could do is mirror this. I could put three more toilets down here, two more sinks down here, move the research area down one notch, because all these bathrooms are going away. We could keep the showers the way they are, and then we could have this side as our bathroom. And if I put doors here, so if someone's sleeping in this cot, they would just walk this way, go into the bathroom. You see what I mean there? So, I don't know if that's the best option or not, because it, it seems like a lot less work than mirroring everything over here and then having to run more piping. That might be the best option, so we keep maybe we keep the, the rest and re recreation stuff over here. Maybe we move research on this side. And we keep a lot of the, I don't know, take care of yourself stuff over here. Lots of options, and uh, we'll experiment with it. I think I'll go ahead and wait for some of your feedback to see what you guys are thinking. But otherwise, ooh, we have to actually, um, we have to puncture. We'll, we'll do this right now because it's going to be important. And I want to see the water flow because it's fun. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and um, mine out here and here. We'll make this all a super high priority. Freak out. We, we're, uh, our water level is almost lower than our, our water pipe here, our pitcher pump. So we're going to breach this and just start letting the water flow out. Uh, meanwhile, Hassan is, um, well, he's, you know, not able to breathe. That's fine. Hassan doesn't need to breathe much. No big deal. Let's slow it down to enjoy the breach of the water. Run! Run, you're going to drown. So all this is going to flow down into our deeper reservoir. Remember, we have expanded our reservoir down about three or four notches here. So hopefully this shouldn't overflow much. <laughs> May's like, why am I soaking wet? I did not sign up to get soaking wet. Let's go ahead and mine that out as well, because that's going to get some water hung behind a uh, tile. But you can see the water level slowly rising back up. We just want to make sure it's high enough to reach the pitcher pump. Although, I guess, to be fair, the pitcher pump doesn't do much. Oh, I guess you use it for... Do you use it for irrigating? I can't tell. Do you actually need to irrigate it? Duplicants to deliver fertilizer and liquids to farm tiles. Yeah, I think so. Fair enough. So the pitcher pump is, in fact, important to have. Good to know. I wonder if you put farm tiles right over water, if they will basically absorb water. I've never experimented with that, but I'm just kind of curious from a just a mechanical standpoint if the game is that advanced in order to allow you to do that type of um, that thing. Um, and while we're still here, and while we're all, you know, we're talking about it and, and thinking about it, why don't we just go ahead and have someone experiment with this, with this, um, lung stuff. Let's, where'd it go? Uh, let's take a look at our germ thing. Okay, so it's all the way up here. So they're gonna build our, our stairwell here. I wanna see what happens when we're exposed to slime lung. We've only got one tile of it. And I, oop, oh, there it went. So, right away... You're holding your breath. Are you are you gross? Are you infected? I just see low oxygen, really. Let's look at that germ overlay. Well, where did it all go? Does anyone have a slime lung thing on them? I don't think so. Did we did we basically just mine it and we held our breath so it didn't matter in the long run? <laughs> Well, that doesn't look that bad, to be honest with you. I don't I don't really see anything causing too much trouble. So that's a good sign. Well, cool. Well, maybe slime is not going to be as bad. Now, I assume if we get into this section here and we start digging into all this slime, we might run into more of a problem. But for the moment, we seem to have managed to go through it without dying a horrible, savage death. So... Um, looking pretty good so far. Thank you all so much for joining me for another episode of Oxygen Not Included at Hope Valley Underground and whatever crazy world this is. Should we have, like, this ladder just go straight up? <laughs> I'm holding W down. Let's see how far... I'm assuming we're at the, the roof here. Let's hold S for a minute. Oh, wow. That went up for quite a bit. Okay, fair enough. So I guess we've got a lot of room to explore here. I wonder how many duplicates we can get over time. Like, what is our upper limit going to be? Are we talking, like, dozens or are we talking about hundreds? 
could be pretty fun. Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode. Again, I appreciate and look forward to your comments and feedback and suggestions. And if you all are not familiar with Tobal Plays in this channel, we do have a Discord that you can join and stop by and chat. Let us know what you're thinking, what you're playing. And uh, yeah, don't be, a, don't be a stranger. Thank you all so much. Take care. Until next time.